And we are back. Thank you for being here. We really do appreciate it, I promise. Today's video is going to be based solely on the safes behind me, not the entire room. Stop, don't be ridiculous. We're gonna talk about the Champion Estates, and these are the ES-17. What makes them tick? Why might this be the right safe for you? Let's figure that out. Let's jump into the video, stay to the end, get all the things you need to do, ask questions in the comment section. Let's go. And before we dive too far, I think it's pretty important that you go check out the merch because we're kind of proud of these things, right? We've got this and other t-shirts. Look at them, here they are, see them, check them out. You can click the link, we've got the A1 EDU store so you can jump in and get yourself some shirts. And of course, from the A1 EDU store, that's where you can go buy the locks and the accessories and everything else we talk about and take you right to the website so you can see everything, okay? Don't forget. Now, if you will join me, I'd like to play a little game called What You See in front of you. Music, please. All right, stop, stop the music. Here we go, it's enough. I wanna, I wanna break the internet, I know, I know. So these cats right here, they're both standing in at 60 inches tall, if you will. Thank you. They are 23 and a half inches wide. Now the depth, this gets a little mysterious when you read websites and even literature from manufacturers. So I just like to put a tape measure on it and tell you that from the back of the safe to the front of the safe only is 19 and three quarters inches for depth. Now, quickly, that does not include things like the handle and the lock, the hinges, nor the power outlet kit in the back. So in this particular case, I'm going to say at about three and a half inches. I'm gonna say that because the handles seem to stick out a little bit further. So, three and a half inches added to that, okay? What you see in front of you. We'll start here. Yes, the exact same safe, obviously. I wanna show you two different colors. Uh, that way we can, and more importantly, you'll see in a second, we did two different interior kind of setups so that you guys can see, okay? So we went with the ivory gloss paint job here on your right. And with that, you see the black chrome, You'll see the s and keypad. You'll see the ball bearing external hinges that have the chrome caps on them as well. It's very attractive. On your left, that is actually sandstone texture. I don't know why it's called that. It's kind of a very granite stone to me, but hey, I'm not here to judge. Also in the black chrome five spoke handle, also with the s and keypad with the black chrome ring with the chrome caps on the ball bearing hinges, yes. This can be swapped to a mechanical lock in black chrome so it still matches, but if you'd rather go that route, it's absolutely doable. So I'm curious, of these two colors, this is predominantly all we really carry color-wise. I, I am very curious to you, internet. What do you like? Which one? What color? Drop down in the comments. Which color are you liking? While you're busy liking things, I'm gonna need you to like this video. Tell your friends, tell your family. Subscribe, follow along, do all the things that the internet's doing these days. It helps the channel. I'm supposed to say that too. I got that right. What you see in front of you. Now, you don't see it, but you do. This is constructed, the body itself is constructed of an 11 gauge steel. It's damn sure not poor. 11 is nice. And it's nice based off of, again, what we see when people show up and they try to beat and if they try to drill or all the other stuff they want to try to do, 11 holds up pretty well against those attacks. So that's the body, okay? Let's talk about the door. This right here, notice the arch, because I know it already caught your eye, people love to see that, right? The arch is actually their classic steel arch doorway. I wanna say that right. So that is fancy and people really like it. The door is actually constructed of a 10 gauge steel. So the exterior steel plate of the door is actually thicker than the body is, which that's normally the case in the safe world because that's where people try to go to attack. With said 10 gauge exterior steel, there's a full 14 gauge steel, which is thinner, but that doubles up our protection, right? So we've actually got two layers of steel on said door. Now, that said, I'm probably going to talk a little bit more about what you see in front of you. And that's just gonna be door, then we'll get to the inside, I promise. So 
On the door though, do you see that? Right here. That's like crazy, right? Like, whoa, he said it was only 10 gauge. Okay, so stay with me. They do this reinforced thing, right? They do this three quarter inch thick, uh, what do they call it? Hold on, let me find my note, because I don't want to say this wrong. Yes, it's their three quarter inch reinforced door edge. So even though the door does look like it's a mammoth and a beast and everything, they actually beef up just the exterior edge around this big plate in the center, if you will, this rectangle. They do that again for pry attacks and for people trying to get in. So they actually do make a big reinforcement here, which is really nice. You'll see the bolts, and those are an inch and a quarter in diameter. They are on all four sides of the door, which we always really appreciate in the security world, okay? So with the door, Again, it's in front of you, but you don't see it, but you do see it. Right behind this lock, right, there is a hardened steel plate. That helps uh, deter people trying to drill through the door to get to the lock, thinking they're just gonna turn it and open it because they put a big hole in it, right? Good luck. This particular line of safes um, from Champion has their diamond embedded reinforced hard plate. What does that mean? It's quite literally what it sounds like. There's crushed pieces of diamond I guess is how you best describe that, within that plate. So when the drill bit actually first hits the plate and they're trying to get through, well, nothing is stronger than a diamond, right? So it's just grinding on the drill bit as you're spinning and it's dulling the hell out of it and you're not getting in. It's really impressive. And then even past that, we always talk about the mouse trap and um, the, the booby trap if you're trying to get in. And yeah, you're gonna set that off because there is the external relocker on this door as well. Let's roll right into fire. Everybody likes to talk fire. So right here is a beautiful little sticker from the manufacturer, yes? This is rated for 120 minutes at 1200 degrees. And with that, it's, uh, <laughs> it's rated for 349 degrees on the in interior, huh? That's funny. If you watch the channel enough and you watch enough safe videos while you're getting educated, you'll realize that is one degree lower than most other manufacturers. Let's put a graph up. Let's talk about fire. Let's make that make a little sense. We'll do it quickly and then we'll move on. You ready? Lights. Here we go. So imagine there is a fire and that fire is going to get as hot as 1200 degrees. How high up does 1200 goes that high? So if it was 1200 degrees consistently for two hours, they're saying that at that temperature for this amount of time that the inside of the safe will not get hotter than 349 degrees on the inside. That's right, one degree. That's the fire graph. Let's move on. So keep that in mind because fire is something we're always shopping for. And if you say, yeah, it doesn't matter to me, yeah, it does. Because you're putting some of your most expensive and most personal and most prized possessions, hopefully, in here to keep safe from what? Theft and, that's right, you know it. I'm not even gonna say it, you're right. Right here, with fire, we should talk about their expanding seal. I'm not gonna say Palusol. I refuse, I'm not gonna do it. Because they don't actually use that word. So we're not gonna use that word. However, I do have an interesting little B-roll that the mad scientist puts in where he shows it expanding, this is gonna do the exact same thing. We're just not gonna say pal you saw. This right here, this black strip you see going all around the interior of the doors uh, opening here, that will expand to create a tighter gap between the door and the body during a fire so that hopefully no smoke and no soot and uh, definitely no fire creep in there. That's the goal. So it's nice to have that. Okay. Let's do, let's do interiors now, right? We're probably, yeah, we're far enough along. And open. I'm gonna leave them both open because I think you can see them both while they're open. Yes, good shot, liking what you see. So check it out. Again, I wanted to use two because that way you can see how we can have shelves everywhere or these do offer the opportunity to store some long guns. So again, at that only 23 and a half inches wide and you've got this closet, because people seem to love closets to put these things in, or you've got this tight space that you want to put this box, but you do have the onesie twosies. You do want more fire protection. Ta-da! Right? 
So with that, now I'm gonna be really fair. They call it a six gun safe. So with that, it looks to me that there are four barrel cutouts for long guns over there. And there are two pistol pockets on the door. We're gonna call that six, because that's what I see. So what fits? Well, I did just grab a couple of smaller weapons because that's just what I had on me. Uh, Glock 19, I know a lot of you probably have that. So if you had a 17, obviously it's gonna fit. Uh, 1911 will definitely fit as well. SIG P365XL fits just fine with optic on it. So we know that. A lot of Americans have the weapons that I choose to put in the videos because we go back and forth about what we want to use, but it just kind of makes sense. There's a lot of AR floating around. There's a lot of 12 gauges floating around. There's a whole bunch of Glock floating around. So you see they all fit just fine if that's what you have. So moving on. Now you can't help but notice lights turned off on me. Hold on, okay. These are four wooden drawers, which are very nice. It's very attractive. Um, they are nine inches wide. So no, we can't actually fit something like a full sheet of paper in it because you're going to ask me, so I'm telling you now, no. But we can fit our passports and our jewelry, um, paperwork that's already folded over, things like that. There's plenty of room to fit plenty of items in them, absolutely. That important baseball card collection, you don't have a lot of them, but you got a few of that signed uh, Babe Ruth baseball that doesn't exist, well, you can put that in here. So the drawers are actually really nice and um, they come with it standard, which I think is pretty great. I should say, that's fair. There is an option actually to where you could just have straight shelves only in this model, kind of an executive uh, safe. Some manufacturers refer to it as, so I'm just using the term because I've said it so many times, but you could just run purely just shelving all the way across. But this is how we carry them and sell them every day because customers seem to really appreciate this. Clearly on our door, we've got some storage. We already saw the pistols over there. That doesn't have to be a pistol. Just whatever fits in there, right? We've got these lovely hooks with the wood that matches um, that we could do necklaces and extra car keys, bracelets, maybe a ring or two. And then from there, it's just kind of whatever you're into. Obviously me, it shows a knife. I'm a common sense guy, so for a knife, I'd probably put a magazine, right? Like that SIG, probably drop some mags right there for that, but hey, whatever we're into, right? So we've got plenty of storage on the door, which is always nice because that takes it off our shelves. But with our drawers pushed in, now we've got plenty of room to work and we can go with full size documents and everything on this side. We've got the shelves, well, I mean the top shelf, excuse me, with plenty of access room up there for whatever items we want to place. LED lighting, you see it? Oh, I got it, motion censored, right? So the, when we open the door, the LEDs will be motion, they will pop on. So we talked about it at the very beginning, we talked about having the plug in the back that we needed the depth for. So this is gonna come with that. And so now we've got the plug, we've got the receptacle, so we can add other things. So if we wanna add a watch winder, well, we've got safe, I mean a safe with power built in. Uh, we can add a dehumidifier, we can do whatever we want because now we have power inside. So that's pretty fantastic in itself. Um, modularity, moving around, shelves, other shelves. All right, let's keep this thing steamboating, shall we? Did I mention shirts? <laughs> Did I say something about the shirt? These big bad mamma jammas come in at 570 pounds. Not terrible, pretty good weight. Now again, there's enough steel to back that up, I think. That's how we get to that. That's an actually a really good weight when you start comparing some of the videos we do for you guys, seeing that, oh wow, that's kind of small to be 570 pounds actually. It really is. Again, nice thick steel on the body, the door, so forth. Your starting price on these guys, MSRP is like $27.99. What'd he say? That's what he said. Um, that's gonna be like this finish mechanical lock. <clears throat> Once you get into fancy paint jobs and keypads, obviously the price goes up. That's your starting point. I think it's fair to market, right? What I forget to talk about? I feel pretty good about it actually. So with that, as always, again, well, I guess, let me leave you with, while you're staring at the, here you go. So, so when I do my cool walk away shot, you're still staring at the inside. If you have any questions or comments, please use that comment section. It's there for you and I, yes? Robert with A1EDU, your friendly neighborhood locksmith. We genuinely appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next one.